my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to print the edge of a page in Microsoft Publisher. Uh, this means that there won't be any gap between the physical page that you hold in your hand when it comes out of your printer and whatever graphics or text that you've got on the paper. Now if we look inside of Publisher here, we can see this kind of blue line that Publisher's drawn. This is what's called a margin. It's kind of a safety area to make sure that your text doesn't crowd the side of a page when it prints. And we kind of want to overrule that a little bit. So if I just start typing some random text here, you can see it defaults to the inside of our margins. We can change that default, but what I'm going to show you how to do is if you've already got text here, we're going to come up to the top of this dashed line. You can see our cursor changes to the four movement arrows, and we're going to drag it up to the upper corner. And now if we go to File, Print Preview, this is going to show us kind of exactly what we're going to see once the whole thing is printed. And it looks a little bit weird. So let's, let's uh, close the Print Preview real quick. And it's printing way up there. It's kind of cutting off our first couple of lines. That's not really what we would like to see. Let's see if we can fix that by going to Margins. So here underneath Publication Options, I'm going to go to Change Page Size. And we can see the margin guides are all the way up here. Now, it's got kind of the preset values in there. I'm going to change the top and the left of the document to zero so that it moves that blue line up to where our text is. So zero inches on both of those. And we're going to say OK. Now, you'll notice that that blue line now goes up to the upper corner of the document. Let's take a look at the print preview now. So file, print preview and it's still doing something goofy with the text. So, no problem. We'll just select our text and drag it down a little bit. And try it again. And now our text is up there, but it's a little bit too far from the side. So really this print preview is kind of your way of seeing what is actually going to happen to your paper. So you can adjust the text back and forth, get it as close to the side as you would like it to be. I'm going to show you real quick with a, a solid graphic what it's going to look like. So we're going to close that, and I'm going to delete my text and make a quick box. I'm going to fill this with blue because I really like blue. And I'm going to drag that to the upper corner and go to File, Print Preview. And the number of times that we've pushed this button, you can tell we're saving a little bit of paper without having to constantly reprint this. And you can see it's up at the top all right, but for some reason there's this little gap on the left. So we're going to close it, and we're going to back it over the side of the page a little bit on the left. And come back to Print Preview. And now it completely lines up with the edges of our document. So if you were printing something with a background, this would be the way to get it right to the edges of the page. You don't have that annoying white strip you'd have to cut off. Um, side note, you may lose a little bit of your graphic on the edges, but that's all right. Kind of bear that in mind when you're creating your backgrounds and just scale them up and over the sides of the document a little bit. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to print right to the sides of a page in Microsoft Publisher. I'm Josiah Ray.